How's it going everyone? I'm your humble shoutcast for today. I'm the humble Scotsman and we are back with some more Pokemon Go Battle League Great League Remix battles. Now, it was a flock together event this weekend and I thought to myself, you know what? What if I did a little special little Pokemon Go video when some spice using Pokemon featured in the flock together event? So I thought Noctowl was always a strong pick. Roughly, I really enjoyed using when I used it a couple of videos ago and a couple of streams ago that I did. And fuel roll for the drill one, basically. Now the rough flat was a big investment. Because the rough flat I used before was only a lucky one, so I just did the lucky up and did uh gave it a second move. But this one cost nearly five hundred K starters to get going. It was like a rank six of that, so I thought I enjoy using it. Let's spend that dust. So yeah, we're gonna shout cast on these matches now because that first match went by quite quickly, but yeah. So we got Politoed. Rufflet tanks that like a champion. Now I'm still trying new things editing these Pokemon Go videos. Like I've got the the, the moves and the IVs at the side which could help. At a glance if you can see what moves and what IVs the Pokemon are that I'm running. But yeah, we're gonna load it for Sky Attack. Gets blocked. Night Slash, we can tank that like a champion. Night Slash again, we get farmed in, but we can... Rufflet can farm in though. Now, here comes the boom with the Brave Bird, I believe. Bang! Didn't expect that, did you? And then Alakazam comes up. Now, Alakazam's not very bulky, so I'm not too worried. So I think to myself, Rufflet can come in and do a good job, and he gets a fly in. I can't remember the shield. No, I don't shield. Well, I couldn't shield, he got no shields. That's probably why I didn't shield. But yeah, in comes a Licky Licky. A very neutral match up, I think. I think Licky Licky can have access to Wild Charge, but I'm not sure. But this one's winning probably Shadow Ball, yep. Does nothing, here comes a Victor Bell. This team does very good against Victor Bell, being all flies. The one thing we don't want to see is Electric and Rock types, and thankfully we didn't want to too many of them, we just went to a couple. But we've not really got that much of an answer to those two types. The only answer we've kind of got for rock types is probably fuel. Because the steel wind coverage. Probably us doesn't bother this team if we can get through without it launching too many icy winds. So Waffler gets the farm done. In comes the jelly scent. Now most of us nowadays run Shadow Ball and Surf. So I was like, hey, I'll keep my knock in. This is going to be one of those moves. Turns out, nah, it was nice beam. So that hits us quite a lot of damage, but we managed to get another Sky Attack off. So I switched to Rufflet, thinking, okay, maybe we can survive whatever it throws us. Rufflet cannot survive a Daka Slayer yet. But yeah, I'm thinking Fuel comes in with a farm down, gets some off some aliases, get the last couple of shields gone. Now this is a mistake, I should have maybe came with Noctowl. But I think me letting that Daka Slayer kill the Rufflet was maybe the, yeah. I think that was a mistake in that battle. But anyway, you learn. We go into a boulder lead, which I've never seen really go battle league. This one's running mud slap. And I came across a few boulders as well. Now I thought my opponent had lagged out or quit the game there, but it turned out just a little lag. In comes the Gardevoir. Do they know that Noctowl can lend Shadow Ball? No, they cannot. But they would never let that go. But they're bringing the, the ball from a Fucker Coco. Crocker Core. Crocola, something like that. Croca, Crocola. Hello, Crocola. So I get a draw one. They probably didn't even know this thing had draw one. I don't think most people do know this thing has a ground move. But anyway, double draw one, double win. Then comes the Cherum. There we go. There's what I didn't want to see. An electric type. So I was thinking here, just get some chip damage off. So that's the fuel. Let's steel wing down, so I think fuel can tank this. It tanks it kinda well, but it manages to kill us. Noctowl comes in, versus the Charizard. Charizard's gonna catch the sky attack, so I was thinking, you know Noctowl, you've done a great job. I'm gonna try and sweep with Rufflet now. Rufflet comes in. I go for the shield. I was thinking maybe I should have not shielded there, but I didn't want to take the chance after seeing Ruffler get Darkest Lariat to the next dimension. 
but we win another match. That was a very difficult game versus that opponent. GG's to that opponent. So the Clint Clan comes in. This is another one. Steel is probably another issue for this team. I didn't even come across that many steals today. I think this might be the only steal I came across in the whole five sets I did. Because I did five sets. There's no boulder. I kept uh, the battles I thought showcased this team the best. There were some teams that... There was a couple of 10 CP teams. I did face one very meta relevant team. Right. Wait just a moment. But yeah, I forgot to record that. We did get very close to beating them. But you know, it was your, your Mantine, your Shadow Steelex, stuff like that. Ruffler could not take a blizzard. I was hoping it was going to have Seth, but... That was definitely not a Seth. Sylveon comes in. Now, I hope this may not be repeat back because when I've been editing, Somehow, the clips have been duplicating themselves. So I've been going through the video, checking if the video is, if the battle is okay. And I've seen duplicate clips of song. I'm like, how did that get there? Why have you duplicated this clip? It makes no sense. So I don't know what's going on with my editing software. I'm going to have to look more into that. And he comes to Cypher, because what I usually do is I usually split up all the clips of the battles. Then I'll add the graphics, and then at the end I'll do the voiceover once everything's all smooth. Well, smooth as it can be. So we get the farm done. We get the blast house. Now in the last video, the first one I did shoutcast and the I was using the make in my editing software, which isn't as good as the one that I usually use for my streaming and recording, which is OBS, so that's what I'm trying here today. So hopefully I sound a little bit more clear and a little bit more better. And not so much maybe background noise. It took me a while to record that first. Well, it took me a while to get that heat more arrival weeks video done. This issue's kept arising. But this one, so far, fingers crossed, if this is it today, it's gone a lot more smoothly than the rivals video. Today being uh, tough for me. But I think so far it's looking okay. Of course I was completely scrapped just recording my voice and you never going to hear this but was this the meta team that I went against? Well, meta S. In comes the bravery. So I'm thinking you don't have ice beam. And it has areas so I called it right. But just in case I... Okay, so we definitely don't have ice beam. So brave bed goes in. BOOM! No, it's fly, not Brave Bed. I'm so used to launching Brave Bed with this. In comes a mask green. We can just fly it down. Bravery seeks and destroys. Didn't even need the feel for that battle. Another battle with Cypher. I can't remember if it's the same battle. It might be. No, I think he was two Cypher leads. Yeah, I'm paranoid now. Because this is actually my second time doing this voiceover. No, it's not the same. So the first time I had some duplicate matches, I don't think I've had any duplicates so far that I can remember. And my recording software didn't decide to record because instead of changing the button to spacebar, which is the space, which is what I use to start this video. So when I start the video, I was thinking, start the video, there's a, what's his name? Diggers Bay without nowhere to go because it can only launch, launch fire punches at us or earthquakes. And we've got a whole team that counters it, so it's not going to get very far. I uh, Yeah, that was one of the bits I actually clipped it in the last session. But it turned out that didn't you record. But I fixed it. I, I had blimmin', what do you call it? Put the pause button as as uh, the spacebar button. And left uh, the recording button as is, so. You know what, maybe it was good that there was a couple of issues in the, the battles for that one. But anyway, Electroid comes in. I launched an air race. Because the thing is, the shields are a problem here. Launch the ball. He comes off like, I think Ruffler can tank one. The tanks are okay, actually, but I saw the shield is there because I forgot that, oh yeah, they can just fast move it, fast moving done. That's what I've been losing by a lot recently. 
Like, I've got a bad habit of saying I can tank this. I'll take the move and forget, oh yeah, they can fast move, fast move me doing so. Yeah, that was all, that was the sets of the day. That was all the battle, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this, please give a like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And I will be recording some more Pokemon Go videos, because quite frankly, I am enjoying recording these for, for everyone. And if you keep enjoying them, I'll keep recording them. But yeah, I'm going to head off. Have a great day. And remember, flock together and get yourself your wins in PvP with a rough lap. That was bad, but... Anyway, I'm going to head off. Bye-bye, everyone.